Welcome to our Devos this week where we have been talking about the one thing. We always look at the scriptures and we look at our time with God and we always want to say, okay, well, God does these miraculous things, he does these big things, he does these great things, but then we don't realize that there's a lot of times that God chooses to only work in one little area or one person or with one change of an attitude, all with one thing. I want to encourage you about the power of one thing. And today I want to start, before I get into the one thing, I want to start with something that is uh, really, really fascinating to me. There's a book. And the book is like, it's like about this thin. I've never read it because you pretty much, you can read the book just by reading the title. The title of the book is called Make Your Bed. That's what it's called, Make Your Bed. It's, you know, I mean, you could fit this book in the back of your pocket. It's that small. But it was written by somebody in the armed forces who talks about the psychological improvement that comes into your life as a result of every day, the first thing you do when you get out of bed is to make your bed. Okay. Now, my wife has been doing this for years. The first thing she does when she gets out of bed is she makes the bed. And even if I'm still in it, if she gets up super early and I'm still laying there, she will make the bed around me. I will wake up and half the bed is made and my side is all crumpled. Okay. Now, when I say that, I say this. The making of your bed really has little to do with anything except what it's doing is it's starting you down a path where you have a habit. Something good that you do every single day that kind of sets the stage for what the rest of your day is going to look like. So I want to talk to you today about the power of one habit. What are your habits like? Habits essentially are what define who you are. I think in 2018 or 2019, Pastor Mike and I did a series on habits and how important habits were and godly habits and all those things. But I'm going to ask you to really think about what your habits are. And some of you, you're like, well, I don't really have habits. You do. Just walk around and write down the things that you do. Like, there's a way that you drive. There's a habitual way that you go to work. There's a habitual way that you wake up and how you start your day. Do you wake up first thing, start your day with social media and, you know, news and whatever? Do you do that? Do you wake up first thing in the day and start texting and calling people? What's your wake up look like? Well, I want to encourage you. A lot of times God will work in your life in a massive way by simply getting you to start one little habit. Paul had a mental habit that he talked about in the book of Philippians, in the letter to the Philippians, I should say. And he says this, in Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 through 14, he kind of sums this up. He says, brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, I forget what lies behind me and I strain forward to what lies ahead. I press toward the mark I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Paul says, the one thing I do is I don't look backwards. The one thing I do is every day I look and go, okay, I'm going to strain forward. I'm going to look for opportunities to serve God now. I'm not looking past. I'm looking ahead. So that was his one thing. So he was always looking for ways. He wasn't thinking, sitting there thinking about he was, how horrible he was to the early church, the early Christians and how he was involved in some Christian's murders. He wasn't thinking about all that he lost in becoming a Christian, and he lost that pedigree. He lost that position in the Jewish culture. What he was thinking about was, what is it every day? What am I going to do for God today? How can I strain for that mark? You could do worse than to pick a habit like this out, but you might want to try something like this. You might want to start off and say, okay, I want to encourage someone every single day. I want to send a text message. I want to you know, send an email. I want to do something. Every single day, I want to encourage someone. Every single day, I want to read two verses of Scripture, no matter what, every single day. If you're a writer, every single day, I want to write 100 words, just 100 words, one habit. One habit can change your entire life. So don't despise what God does in the power of one thing. 